Yeah, hey matey, I'm actually right off of Winters Road here in Winters. I'm about 10 miles just south of the fire. If you look over my shoulder, out there in the distance, you'll see a little bright orange spot, which is where the fire is burning. But it has been a long day for these firefighters here. Let me kind of catch you up to speed. So they tell me they got the call at around 3.37 uh, this afternoon. When they arrived, they realized they had a mess on their hands in the sense that wind was blowing dramatically. That combined with the dry fuels out here, this fire spread dramatically. And just so you can get an idea of how quickly this fire spread, at around 6 o'clock, there was 150 acres that had burned. Less than three hours later, 1,200 acres had burned, which is where we're at now with the last update, and 5% contained. But like I said, due to the dry fuels, and that combined with the wind uh, blowing has just made it a nightmarish situation for the firefighters out here. I had a chance to catch up with the PIO earlier today, and he provides some context onto what's going on out here. We've had strong, gusty winds throughout much of the day. Uh, that, uh, combined with a lot of dry fuels out in this area, has really pushed the fire uh, significantly uh, from west to east. We, we do know that we do have a significant number of structures that are threatened. Uh, we have a lot of resources in the area, and I don't have uh, total numbers of, of uh, any structures that have been either damaged or destroyed at this point in time. The focus right now is on getting our uh, containment numbers up um, and resources into the area to assist with the firefighting efforts. And like I said, at last check, it's 5% contained. Now, he went on to say that this is a good time to remind people that fire season is here. And it's always good to have an evacuation kit ready in the event of one. Food, water, and other necessities that you may need. And while we're talking evacuations, they have evacuated over 80 properties in the area over there. And they will continue evacuating throughout the night because he says it doesn't look like they're going to be going home anytime soon. For now, I'm out here in winters. I'll keep you guys updated shortly here with what we see. I'll send it back to you, matey.